Yo, welcome back to the channel. I'm here, back at the builder's house. Call it the builder's house, builder wired it. If you've been following the this channel and this job in particular, you'll know that this smoke detector is only on when the lights are turned on. So on this one here. So now the smoke, now them lights have gone out, so is the smoke detector. So what I'm going to show you, I'm going to fix that, I'm going to rectify that now. Um, I'm going to do a quick look, I don't know if you've if you watched the previous video, but this builder, he'd wired a feed from the mains board to the switch, and from the switch he'd wired like a ring, so he'd gone up, gone to the first light, gone to the next light, gone to the next light, and in this case also gone to the smoke detector, and come back down. So we've already got a cable in there that we don't need. So we're going to disconnect one of them and hopefully use it to feed that and we'll then connect it to the permanent side of this switch and then we'll have the other leg of his ring to do them three lights uh, hopefully hopefully it goes to the smoke detector first that'd be perfect but we're going to have to bell it out test it up and all and whatnot find out let's just hope the smoke detector's not in the middle of this ring sort of thing if so, we'll still be able to fix it. It'll just be a little bit harder. It'd just be beautiful if it went to the smoke detector first. So, yeah, keep watching. Might have to take all the lights down first and see what the crack is. So this isn't a good start, is it? That connector, that's plugs in there. It just comes... Just trying to take it down. So the connector block or whatever is used is stuck up there somewhere. Can't pull them out, and he's not wired this part of the ring because the light next to it. So he's got his feeding and out, lovely tape job there. At least he's taped it short spools. And that just goes over there, but it's pretty tight, so I can't even just fish that over. So it looks like my plan is not going to happen really. I'll We'll have to get some uh, rods out and start rodding, see what I can do. Right, so it might not be too bad this. It might not be as bad as the first thought to sort out. Because, so, in there, he's not done a bad job of that, to be fair to him. This is what I'm talking about. He, he's done he's done things wrong, but he's not done them bad, if that makes any sense. Like I say, I, I, his cables, when I'd seen above the ceiling in the other flats, he's clipped them all along the joist and whatever is even used ideal connectors that's because screw fix was giving them away free with cable definitely why um so yeah what we've got here we've got our feed coming into the common at the bottom and he's linked that over he's also taped it up so i don't want to look underneath that and we've got a switch wire going out to the under cabinet lights the little pyramid ones under there that other one there, that's not connected to anything. That and there's the neutral cut. That's the ring that he had going over there. To them lights. And then he's got these two switch wires that switch these lights. So, I'm assuming what he would have done, he's gone up and gone to that light, gone to that light, gone to that light, came back down to the switch and just connected up like a ring for no apparent reason. Um, and then obviously just sort of spurred off that light to feed the smoke detector, which is obviously wrong because it's switched. So, one of these two here, presuming, I'm going to bell it out and check, goes straight from there, straight over to that end light. So I disconnect that, bell it out. Sorry, that battery died on me. Got it on charge, might as well. Yeah, so what I was saying was, Presumably, and hopefully, one of them goes straight from there, straight to the end. I just want to bell that out, pull it back, use it as a permanent feed, then disconnect it from the switch side and put it in the permanent side. Neutral's obviously already there. And then the one switch wire that does go up will go from there over to there and end the line as it should be. So it might be a good fix, especially when I've just been poking around up there and I've found the cable that goes over to that light, I don't know if you've seen it move then, but yeah, it goes straight over to there. 
So I'm hoping, because obviously the one that, this one that we want to be going, obviously comes from that light to here, from there to there. And then the other one should be this one, which should, in theory, go straight down to the switch. I can just pull that back, cut it to length, put it over there, and buy in a proper smoke alarm and none of this fire angel crap. Get him an echo one. Obviously I just broke that anyway, trying to get it down because it was so tight. Hopefully this shouldn't be too bad. Just taking these lights down anyway. I think I'm pretty sure it is what I think it is. But uh, I'm taking them down anyway because I'm going to reconnect them because obviously they're a bit bad. But look at it. Taped them up. He's, he's tried, bless him. He's tried. That's what a builder has done. Uh, to be quite honest with you, if you'd used decent whites, I think he could have done a better job than that. I think the, the struggle with this is the actual light fittings. You've got like that much space, you know, to get the cores in. Right, so where we are at right now, I've disconnected the two legs of the ring. I'm calling it a ring because it is a ring. It just shouldn't be. I've disconnected them, completely separated all the cores. This one here where I've got me jump leads on there. Got my jump leads between the line and the earth. That cable is that one there that's sort of looped out that I've, that I've found above there. This comes down to here. So if we just clamp onto the earth there, just get onto the earth. I've got the mega set to continuity and I've got the audio on it so you can uh, get a bit of an audible example. This is the one that it isn't. That's not that. That one goes up to that light, as, a, as expected. Hang on. We're not on the earth. My bad, we're not on the earth back properly, so that's not that. There we go. So yeah, that's that leg. So that one, just going to put a little mar, all right, so no, I don't get it mixed up. Sorry, I had a pen lid in my mouth then. So I don't get it mixed up yet. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to pull that leg back to here, fish it over to the smoke detector. I'm gonna connect it up into the live side, live neutral and earth, and then I'm gonna reconnect all the lights. So it'll be two cables there, two cables there, and we'll have an end of line as it, as it should be. So yeah. That is why, like I said, if you've been following the videos, that's why I said the way he's made us a mistake by wiring it like that. He's also helped us out because as you can see here, it's completely finished pretty much. Like it's, it's all painted, plastered, it's all ceilings are in. So now we can completely fix this without causing any damage at all. So yeah, he accidentally helped us out here, that builder. Gonna get that sorted now. About to pull this core out and I hope that uh, it'll pull and it's not cable tied it to the other one like he has done here. I hope it's not taped or tied. I can feel that's going through Joyce so we'd never have been able to fish that over. I can feel it. I feel it jumping through the joists. There you go, that's our new permanent feed. That's hopefully going to go to there, so I'll just cut that down now. Does everyone else do this? Does everyone, does everyone sort of get a measure for something and be like, yeah, that's long enough, but then cut it about a metre further down? I always do. So that's plenty to go over there. And then I'll cut it down again, and then when it comes to putting the smoke detector on, I'll cut it down again. Does everyone do that? Is that just me? The only problem with these down lights is the holes are around about 60mm or something. On the 70mm holes I can fit my hands in them.
cable back through that way. And there we go. That's that sorted. Just need to crack on now, connecting these down lights back up and I'll put I'll connect the switch back up. I'll put Wagos in the end of that for the time being until I get a new smoke detector, a nice echo one, like the other ones that I have supplied to this place. So yeah, not too bad. Now uh, I'm just gonna scream and shout at trying to connect them little things up. Look how short you've got to have them cores to get the cable. Oh, they're not the neatest yet, but they'll go in. How short you've got to have them to get the cable on the inside of the cable clamps. Power master, shame on you. You're awful. You can see now why you had to tape around this part because that, that lid just doesn't close properly. It just gets, the catch is like a tiny piece of plastic. So let's take it back on there. Cores are on the inside this time at least. So yeah, the, I think these are designed to have them where you have like a chuck box and then a bit of flex coming out to do that. Obviously I don't have anything like that in the van. That's one down, two to go and then I probably have to look at them ones and see if they're the same, which they're probably going to be and we have to redo them all. Great. So there we have it, lights are back up. They're not even in line with each other. I've just noticed. Obviously this is not to be used as any kind of test instrument at all. But as you can see, no matter what we've got a live feed now for the smoke detector. So it's as simple as that. I hope you uh, enjoyed watching this video. I hope that you have already subscribed but still got loads of people viewing who aren't subscribers. Just don't cost you anything. But it makes a poor man happy, a poor Mancunian happy. Please sponsor a Mancunian today. What am I missing? Yeah, I just need to figure out now how to use that there. So I'm going to try and use that to pick some stuff up from here. So yeah, wish me luck.